cheap easy gorgeous those are three words I love to hear when it comes to DIY projects. Hi, I'm Nikisha. Welcome to my channel, Life's Amazing, where I do videos about DIY and home deco. I'm really excited about the projects I have lined up today because they involve using things that I had lying around the house, transforming them with a coat of paint and some other accessories, and bam, you have like gorgeous new deco. So I hope you are able to try at least one of them with something that you have at home and without further ado let's get straight into it enjoy let me know which one is your favorite uh project in the comments for the first project i upcycled a ceramic shell vase that we had at home for a while my mom actually made this over 30 years ago and I decided to just give it a little update. I first tried to paint it using the baking soda paint technique, but then I ended up just spray painting it in the end. So first I sprayed it with my primer, white primer. And once that had dried, I tried at first to spray paint it with my white paint, but that wasn't working. So in the end, I ended up spraying it with the Rust-Oleum Heirloom White Paint, which is a, a distinctly cream satin finish. And here's the final look after two coats of paint. I find that it looks really great as a planter. For the second project, I decided to upgrade the IKEA Nippon pot. Um, so this is a cement look plastic pot. There's a ridge on the pot where the top is slightly bigger than the bottom. So I decided to try the color blocking technique for the bottom half of the pot. So I used some black acrylic paint and I went around the entire bottom half of the pot with two coats of black acrylic paint, letting it dry in between coats. And once that was finished and dried, I removed the tape. To add the ring to the pot, I used some Gorilla Glue and I applied it with a very fine brush and I just made a fine line, applied a fine line of the glue right around the diameter of the pot. So we all know how strong Gorilla Glue is. I used a very little bit of glue and once that was applied on the rim, along the rim of the pot, I added my ring because gorilla glue is very liquid well this 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 type of glue is very liquid i just let the pot sit for about maybe an hour and then this was the final look it was such a simple hack and i love how it transformed the pot into a very very modern and chic piece of deco I also paired it with the mascara art that I recently created and I'll link that video in the top. For the third project, I am just updating a box that I've had on hand with some, I'm adding some legs, using some gold spray paint and I'm using sparkling to fill in the design that's at the top of the box because I want a smooth top. So the sparkling goes on pink and dries white so that you know when it's completely dry. At first I was going to leave the message on the box that says just a matter of time. But in the end I decided to apply the sparkling to the entire top of the, the box design. I applied three coats of the sparkling in the end. Once it was dry I sanded off the excess sparkling. Wipe that off with a microfiber cloth and then I also sanded the entire surface of the box just to make sure everything was smooth and to take off the top finish of the box to prepare it for painting. So I again used my white primer and 
I primed each side one at a time, let it, letting it dry in between coats. And once that was done for the entire surface, then I went on to my paint. I am using a blush pink matte finish, chalk finish in rust -oleum. I'm not sure why I decided to change the technique here, but that did not turn out well because then disaster struck. I'm being dramatic, but... Oh no! Yeah, so the paint started to run. There's this moment when you're doing a DIY project and you realize, you realize you're ruining it. Um, you have, there's a moment of silence and then for some odd reason I continue to spray paint it um, but if this ever happens to you where you over spray uh, because ideally you want to spray light coats um, but if you over spray you can use a piece of tissue and dab at the where the paint is running and once you gently dab it away you let the paint dry and then you can sand the surface down to get it smooth and then repaint it if you notice that when it's already dry you can also go straight into sanding so after sanding i sprayed it the correct way which is one side at a time and i did two coats each side for the legs on the box i gave those a coat of the gold spray paint I let it dry for 24 hours before spraying it with my sealant. Once the legs were dried, I used my glue gun to apply the legs to the box. The legs come with holes for two screws, but I decided just to glue them on uh, since I didn't have screws that size on hand and I applied some pressure, held it in place for a few seconds, and then moved on to the other legs. Once that was dried, it was time to decide on the knob. I was playing around with three options. First, I tried a cover from a lotion bottle, a small lotion bottle that I had from years ago that I had saved, and I also tried using two different sizes of wooden beads, but in the end, I decided to go with the lotion cover. So I spray painted the cover with the same gold spray paint, and then I applied glue onto the inside of the cover around the the diameter making sure that the glue did not come out onto the top because I didn't want it once I pressed it down for it to be visible on the outside and that was pretty much it for this box I love the Parisian feel you get from the decoration on the legs and it just literally elevated the box and it's a very easy project that I'm sure you can try as well And that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I've linked another video that has some DIY home decor projects that you can also enjoy next. Thanks again and be blessed.